Hey guys, thanks to those who voted in yesterday's poll. I asked you, what's the biggest thing that is holding you back right now? And the clear winner was lack of discipline. So that's what I'm gonna dig into in this video. Now as a poker player, there are two areas that you can lack discipline. That's in game, at the tables, in terms of the decisions you're making. Should you call that four bet against a tight opponent, making that fold on the river when your opponent over bets and you know you're beaten, etc. Then there's discipline away from the tables. That's sticking to your grinding hours, that's having regular study time, that's saying no to drinks at the weekend when you know you should be grinding, etc. This is following through on what you know you should be doing. And that's the type of discipline I'm gonna be focusing on for this video. Interestingly, I'm finding that a lot of players who think that they lack discipline often just lack clear priorities. They don't know what they want, and as a result, they end up just doing what's easiest in the moment. So before I go any further on discipline, I want to ask you, do you have clear priorities of what's most important in your life? Do you have clear goals that you are working towards that excite you to wake up to? And do you have an action plan that is keeping you on track towards your goals? Without these in place, even the most disciplined people in the world will soon run out of steam as they'll be relying on willpower, which is a finite resource. To achieve success in anything, we often have to give up some short-term gratification to say no to some of those instant pleasures for a long-term reward. Now this is hard to do at the best of times, and it's almost impossible to do if we don't have long-term goals that we feel are worth our short-term sacrifices. As humans, we are master negotiators. We negotiate everything with ourselves. Should I eat the salad or the burger? Burger tastes nicer. Should I have a few more drinks with my friends or should I have an early night? A few more drinks is more fun. Should I continue to watch YouTube or should I grind? YouTube's fun. And we need to make sure that we have a link between our short-term sacrifices and the long-term payoff. If not, we'll always choose the action that gives us the most pleasure in the moment. And this is how most people live their lives, going from one quick fix to the next. We need to stop and consciously decide how we want our futures to look. What's important to us? What do we prioritize? What standards do we have for ourselves both now and in the future? We get to decide. Once we have our priorities in check, once we know where we want to take our lives and we are willing to make the sacrifices needed to make it a reality, then discipline is everything. Now there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is if we stick to behaviors long enough, they become habits that don't need much discipline to maintain. The bad news is we need to do these behaviors long enough for them to become habits and become more automated. And also, it's just as easy to form bad habits that hold you back as it is to form good habits that propel you forward. Some of the best habits you can form as a poker player are consistent playing hours and a regular studying schedule. If you're consistently showing up to play, if you're consistently working on your game away from the tables on a daily basis, you'll have more success in poker than most people. So what's stopping you? This answer will be different for all of you, but it's important that you take the time to identify what stops you from staying focused. Is it boredom that makes you cut your session short? Is it social media that distracts you and makes you delay to getting started? Is it tilt after a few bad beats that makes you quit your session and not show up the following day? Identify the main thing that stops you from staying disciplined. Then decide an action you can take that will make your life easier next time you are in that situation. For example, if social media is distracting you, you can literally block yourself from going on social media at certain hours of the day using an app called Stay Focused. You can also put your phone in airplane mode to stop anyone, any notifications coming in from social media. Again, that's gonna cut out that distraction of social media, take control of the situation. If it's tilting after a few bad beats, try injecting logic. Remind yourself that you're not supposed to win every hand. You're not supposed to win every game. The fish has to win from time to time to make these games profitable over the long term. Have a note on your desk reminding yourself that losing and variance is part of the game. If you're going into a session expecting to win every hand, expecting to win every game, don't even bother playing. Your expectations are unrealistic and it's gonna to lead to you tilting as soon as you start to lose. If it's boredom, the chances are you aren't focusing hard enough. So try and narrate in the hand in your head as you're playing it. Start thinking about what card could come next. What size do you expect your opponent to go? What cards affect which part of each player's range? Curiosity is a great cure for boredom. So make sure you're making the effort to be interested in the game and predict what's gonna happen next. Also, set yourself mini challenges. Have little targets and goals that you're aiming for that you're not gonna allow yourself to fall short of. Don't get disheartened about how far you may be away from your long-term goals. Just focus on putting in the effort in this minute, in this hour, in this day. That small progress will get you towards your goals over time.
Become a process driven. Let yourself feel good about hitting your daily targets. Celebrate the small wins. Life is one, one day at a time. You can't jump too far ahead. You need to keep bringing it back to what you can do in each moment. If you fall off or mess up, don't dwell on it. Just get back to in the next moment, the next hour. It's a lot of small daily battles of you versus you. The more times you win those battles, the more times you overcome resistance and push through, the more momentum you build and the easier it becomes to keep taking more and more positive actions. Before you know it, positive behaviors will become ingrained and they take less and less discipline to maintain. So start the ball off rolling today and pick one area in which you lack discipline and pick one action that you're gonna take that's gonna make it either easier to do the good behavior or harder to do the bad behavior. Take control of your life. Small changes lead to big improvements over time, but you need to start now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be plenty more poker content coming from me very soon.